Hey besties, so what we're going to be doing today is some custom plates. I am going to be offering a few different measurements, but if you do not use the same type of plates, then you will have to measure the bottom to get your exact dimensions. The first thing I'm going to do is add in a circle and I'm going to make it 6.4. That is going to be the dimensions of the dinner entree plate that I'm going to use. And then I'm gonna go ahead and drag in my design. I'm gonna adjust the background to 6.5 so that I can slice out my circle. Okay, so I'm going to keep that circle that will be for my adhesive. This circle obviously is gonna be for my design and I remove the background around it because I no longer need it. I am using an Easter font. I will link it down below for anyone that is interested. I am going to add an offset because the blue is blending in a little bit. So I'm going to do an offset at 0 0.07 in the color pink. I'm going to go ahead and align everything to the center so that it is set up correctly for printing. So now that I have my design set up the way that I want, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my additional circles. So I am going to duplicate. This first one is going to be five inches and that is going to be for the appetizer plate. The second one I'm gonna duplicate is going to be 4.5 and that is going to be for the dessert plate. This last one that I'm gonna do is going to be two inches and it's just going to be for a lollipop label. I'm gonna quickly do the rounded square label for the bottom of the little candy dishes. I'm gonna add my background back into the canvas and I'm gonna make that 1.8 inches. I'm then gonna add in a rounded square and I'm gonna make that 1.7 inches. I'm basically going to do the same thing I did with the circle. I'm gonna align it to the center and I'm gonna slice. I will keep the basic cut and I'm going to get rid of the background. I am then going to duplicate a two inch circle again and I'm gonna unflatten and get rid of that circle so that I basically do not have to redesign it all over again. I could just select that together and place it over the square. So now I'm gonna select everything together. I'm gonna align everything horizontally to the center and flatten. And then we're gonna set up the page for printing. I'm gonna go through and make a circle cutout for each image. And then we're gonna go to make. Okay, now the only thing that I need to change is here, I need to make this size A4, okay? And they automatically adjust for the second page. Now again, you can always throw in more um, shapes on there so that you can utilize most of your paper. I don't throw these sheets away. Um, because even when I try and print out most of it, I might still have space for an extra two inch circle or, you know, something like that. So I don't throw the sheets away. Um, and then we'll go ahead and go to continue. I'm going to go back up here so I could do my print and cut first. So let's do that. Send to printer. I'm going to use my system dialog box. Okay, so I'm going to go to media and quality and I'm going to go to paper type and go to photo glossy paper and I'm it automatically adjusts to best quality. You could change it back to normal if you want. I'm going to leave it at best quality. Okay, and then I'm going to cut on heavy cardstock. 
If you're using a brand new blade, then you can use medium cardstock. However, my blade is a little older, so I'm gonna use heavy cardstock so it can pass twice, okay? And then for the sticker sheets, I'm going to use medium cardstock and we're good to go. So this is the paper we're gonna be using. You're gonna place the film on the table with a little notch on the top right position. The side facing up to you is the printing side, okay? You're gonna print on a glossy setting and standard quality or best quality. So the notch right here on the top right, that is the printing side. You're going to flip it over if you have a printer like mine where it prints on the underside. Okay, so just how it's shown um, that I just showed you on the printer, the notch is on the right side. It's always going to be on the right side, even though I printed face down. Okay, so I'm going to load this and we're going to cut. These are the plates I'm gonna be using. These appetizer plates are 12 for $1.25. The entree plates are eight for $1.25. These fancy little dessert plates, they're eight for $1.25. They're a little better quality than these appetizer plates. And these small little dishes are 12 for $1.25. So I just measure the bottom with a measuring tape and that's really how simple it is to get your dimensions. The white carrier sheet, that is the side that's going to have the adhesive. So I'm going to pull this back and just cut a little piece off. And then I'm going to place this here on the front. I've made the mistake a time or two of putting it on the back and basically messing it up. And then I like to just seal that like that. Of course, if you're doing this for a party, I would wear gloves just so you don't get fingerprints and stuff like that all over the plates. This is the one that I did with the full adhesive backing and this one I did with just a strip of tape and it will still hold up pretty good. So if you wanted to use double-sided tape, as long as it's a really good quality, you should be good to go. Okay, so um, this is filled with water. I'm gonna stick a few of these in there and let it sit for about 15 minutes. So it's uh, 11.45. Or six, eleven forty-six. Okay, and I'm gonna stick one of these in there, just so you guys could see. And these are also tear-proof as well, so you can't. It's not like paper; you can't tear them. Okay.
So here is my final product. I have used this a few times now just to test it out and see how well it would hold up. And I do still have some plates that are a few months old um, that still look great. So I hope you guys enjoy this product. If you have any questions, please let me know down below in the comments. I thank you as always for watching and I'll see you on the next video.